Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Joel Vaught after uh, 2013 Lake Sonoma 50 mile. You were second this year. How'd it I was go? Second this year. Ah, half good, half bad. Well, maybe which, which maybe one? maybe two thirds good and a third bad. I felt good the first till probably mile 35, 40, mm -hmm. and then I had some strange leg issues. <laughs> I had a, my my leg on the uphill would basically go to sleep or lose feeling. Which part of your leg? My whole darn leg. Whole leg. Yeah. I've never had that happen before. So the, the hills, which I usually like, were pretty rough. Pretty rough. And then you start the downhill and it would come back and then you could go. You know, it was really hmm. strange. So some weird hitch in your stride yeah, there. Yeah, and then I kind of like got some calf cramping, which I've never had in my life. And it was just so, one leg? Just the same leg, that hmm. right leg. Just chop it off. <laughs> You'll regret that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, early but on, was, but it was you know the course was great. I expected to run a lot faster because conditions this year were a lot better than last year. Yeah. The creek crossings were super low, and the, there was no mud, no mush. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed that I ran slower. But well, early on you were behind Cassie. Yeah. Um, pretty consistently. I mean, yeah. like the same. She wasn't building a huge gap, but you were a couple minutes back. Yeah, I'd go by people. They'd be like, "You're back down five minutes." The next person would say, "You're down four minutes." The next person would say, "You're down three minutes." And then the next person would say, you're down five minutes. <laughs> okay. Hey, you were at that. Um, yeah. At the turnaround, it was still about the same. Yeah. When did you know you were, you know, really, really? Um, were... When we were coming, you know, back, when you're passing, everybody's still going out there, you know, they'd be saying, you're three minutes, you're two minutes, and you're really close to her. And then I was running with uh, Felix from yeah. Solomon, who we couldn't talk, but it was really fun to run with him. And, um, and he spotted her up at the top of the hill and pointed. And we were like, okay. And I think he was trying to kind of help me reel her in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she was. She had, she hit a really rough spot and was hiking a little bit. And so we passed her and passed her pretty, you know, decisively. Mm -hmm. And I was, I wasn't sure if she was done or not, but she came back strong as ever. So yeah, yeah when she passed me even more decisively, and <laughs> I never saw her again. Uh, when did that happen? When did the pass back happen? Um, gosh, I think it was. Um, so probably mile 44, or no, probably mile between 40 and 43, somewhere in there. Okay. Because she was, she asked me how far the next aid station. I thought it was about three, and that was at that 45 mile aid okay. station. So, yeah, and like, yeah, I couldn't, I just couldn't do anything. <laughs> so last year we talked a little bit about. I was about like, I better hang on for a second. And you which did. Which I barely did. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah barely. You were getting. Sh you're <laughs> well, then at the oh. end here, I came the wrong way. So I came through the parking lot because I saw the finish and I think I was just like focused. And so some lady told me, I think you're supposed to come out that trail. So then I had to run back out the trail to get back where I wrong turned and then come back. And I, yeah, I was like, that, oh, that, if I see a girl coming here, I'm going to be so sad. The trail that you ran in on last year? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you think I would know that, but I no, was no. focused on that finish line. You, you wanted to be there as soon as you done. could. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that added, um, that added well, last year too. you had some uh, poor nutritional planning. Yes, yes, I <laughs> you did. You just mentioned that this year, uh, <laughs> same plan. <laughs> Pretty much the same plan. Yeah, I you know I I struggle with my eating. Not getting in enough calories. Yeah, I just can't eat the goos and stuff, mm -hmm. and so I think that's a you kind of need to I think because it's just such an easy digestible mm -hmm. quick thing. So I, you know I use Cliff Blocks, but I eat like one every forty five minutes or hour or something. <laughs> What about some Jelly Belly Belly Flops? I'm going to maybe get some Belly Flops for this next, for Western this year. Oh, so... Uh, but I felt like I drank enough, you know. Okay. I felt like I was, you know, which which I don't know why I cramped in my calf. Because, you know, it was warm, but we always had a breeze and I never felt overheated. You never had so. felt overheated, huh? Yeah. yeah, it could just be the saw, I mean, whatever. Yeah, it was something. It was something. It's early season. I do, I do actually have these new little orthotic things in because I have some bursitis under my Achilles. Mm -hmm. And I've never run that long with these. Like, I've just, had them for about two weeks. <laughs> so it could, you know, just that different. A little bit my, change in your gait. Yeah. yeah. That I, I'm going to blame it on that. And that could change with a little bit of, yeah. you know, time yeah, in now that I get some miles. Used to them. But yeah. without it, I can't stand that. So, so you've got Western States again this year? I do. Yeah. We'll try it again. <laughs> looking, looking to nail that 100 mile distance. You know, I don't know. It's fun to try, I guess. It's yeah. fun to have that challenge. Mm -hmm. And it's just such a cool event. So it's just hard for me to get those long, long hours in of training. So I'm going to do, I think, Silver State 50 and then Pocatello's like, Pocatello 50 is like two weeks after. So try to do those two 50s close together. Mm -hmm. and that'll be my stellar training. And do you plan to, to race them or do you plan yeah. to be? Okay. Yeah. Well, Pocatello, there's usually not a ton of competition there. Yeah. So it's, it's really, and it's super mountainous, which is kind of what I like. Yeah. 
So yeah, I'll it won't feel like a long day of work. No, it'll, it's beautiful. It's, it's a, a great, great course. Yeah. <laughs> You've run that? I've been up there twice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I love that course. So totally. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, any uh, any you know obviously Western States is the focus of, of yeah the, your, of the next couple through months through June yeah and then any yeah. any plans further out or um, sort of... I'm gonna do Waldo again because I Waldo love Waldo okay it's okay probably one of my favorite races and there's a couple local there's a McCall Trail Trail Running Classic and it's just probably 90 miles from Boise mm -hmm. and it's a super crazy 40 mile course that took about eight hours for 40 miles wow it's crazy that's early yeah and and so I'll probably do that and there's a race in Sun Valley that's only like six so just some fun races Some fun stuff, so. No. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, start off your season pretty well here. And, yeah, uh, this, you know, this is such a fun race. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good really, time. Yeah. And, and this weather, you know, going to like get a little tan or sunburn or something. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> we don't have this one. Us high desert yet. folks. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be tough to go home tomorrow to 50 degrees. But 50 degrees. It's not yeah. snowing. And no, no. We actually had some like. 70 almost 70 around Easter time, but it's gone back down. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Yes, yes, definitely. And congrats definitely. on a great run. Thank uh, you. Good to see yep. you. <laughs>